Hey Recyclers, hey Scrappers, how's it doing today? Thanks for watching the video. Uh, small video today on some CRT TVs. Um, we don't fully recycle these, obviously it's got the, the lead glass screen, which we can't do, we've got to send that away. It's got hard plastic, which again we need to go and get put away. Um, sometimes we take the power boards out, sometimes we take the aerial boards out for spare parts, but mainly we just take the yoke out for the copper, the deboshing cable and any other cables to snip off put the cover back on, send it to the recycling processors, they, they recycle the rest. We just take out what we need, which is a copper. So we've got this 34 inch one to do. I uh, say 34 inch, it's just a screen, it's 34 inch. As you can see with these older TVs, it's got these extra speakers on the side. And I've got two smaller ones outside we're going to do as well. Just for the yokes, the abortion cable. If we see anything nice in them, which I doubt we'll leave, we'll, we might take it, but uh, well, let's get started off. Right everybody, these are easy enough to do, you don't need a lot of scrap knowledge, DIY knowledge or knowledge of tools how to get the yolks and copper out of these, even to open them up and completely strip them down to the bare screen. It's just a case of taking the screws out and snipping the cables where necessary. So there's a screw missing there already. And the reason we're doing this and not looking for a new home for this one, the aerial is broken at the back and it failed its electrical safety test. So this, this and other ones that we got, we got these donated in just the other week, uh, so we can't reuse them. So we'll take out what we need off them and we'll get the rest of the recycling processor plant. It looks like somebody's opened it in the past at some point anyway because the screws are all different. And there. And then there, I'll hold the board on. So again, these are very easy to do. It's just a case of taking the screws out. I'll keep a few screws to side because I will be putting this cover back on so we can send it to the recycling plant once we take out what we need off it. That should be it, hopefully. The screws are out, this should tip out. I usually put it on its screen. Pretty hard way around, they won't break. And with any luck, Go. Nice big bit of plastic should just pop off. Just pull out the power cable aside. Something's in this one sticking on it. The screw's not coming out properly. Right, something's holding it together. Just a clip probably. There you go. So as you can see, the board is still stuck on there. That's easy enough. It just Give it a knock and it will pull off. It's probably because the aerial at the back here is stuck to the plastic because it's broken. There you go. The board just slots into these bits here. Okay, so we'll sort that in a minute. Put that there. Yoke is in the middle, as you can see. Nice and simple. As I said in a previous video, I think it was a copper recovery video for the dirty copper, these are just held on with a couple of little screws to the, for the retaining clips. Take the screws out. And if you're careful enough, it should just come off without any issues. That should just come off, it's just pins keeping that on. Plastic retainers, just for the bin. Metal clips, they actually come in quite handy. I'm not one of these that keep everything because it'll come in handy one day. We actually have got uses for some of these things. So there's rubber, little rubber wedges under here, pliers. Let's get the rubber wedges out. They'll go in the bin, which is behind me. And yeah, I should have my gloves on for doing this, but my hands are a mess anyway. I think it's time to get some new gloves. I've seen better days. So once the wedges are out, you've seen how that loosened up there? It just pulls right off, nice and simple. Again, take the pliers, cut the cable. Now normally, these hold a charge, yeah? These, especially the power cables and stuff, they can hold a charge quite some time, but this TV has not been on in some time, so I'm not worried about getting a shock off it or nothing. This is not, I'd be extremely surprised to get any charge left in it. It's been sitting outside in our driveway for a, about a week before that. It was in storage getting tested from ourselves. So here's a yoke, okay? Just like the ones that was on the other video we've done for the copper recovery, we'll give it a smash up the hammer. There's copper there. We'll recover all that copper as well. It's small, but it'll mount up. Copper reels there. Copper on the outside, and that's the 
there's resin keeping it on, but that'll snap off or it'll burn off in the crucible. Okay, so there's a good bit of copper there. Um, we'll take some of this cables because obviously the cables go to low grade bin. It all mounts up and wait. Power cables are copper. Let's snip them. Don't need that. Go down there. Now there's a debortion cable as well. If you've seen any other videos on these TVs getting scrapped down, you know there's a, usually a nice thick, if you're lucky, a thick copper wire. Sometimes it's uh, aluminium, or if you're one of the colonials, aluminium. Yeah, cousins across the pond, aluminium. Give that pull off. Speaker cable. Big speakers in there, so if somebody's wanting big magnets, it's a place to get them. A CRT TV or speakers, any projects. I know some people use them. We sell a lot of speakers from TV scrap ups and people buy them for the projects that they're doing. So all this cabling, it's all either tin coated copper or copper itself. So yeah, even that thick red cable that's on it goes to the screen, the power board. Okay, you can see inside it's just tin, tin co covered copper in there. You can see that out. Tiny, but it all mounts up. And we've got a machine now for stripping it, so it makes it easier for us. We we'll just run it through the machine, and then we we'll just take our time stripping the cable back. So there's lots of low-grade ribbon on here. Be honest, it's the first time I've had a CRTV in a while. A CRT TV in a while has had this much ribbon cable on it. It's usually just a few low-grade wires and a power cable. Um, so. Oh well, it's our bonus because of course we've got a bin for all this so it comes in handy. I'm probably getting ready to do a, a trade in with the cable soon and bins are starting to get full up. Low grade and high grade starting to get full up. I say high grade, I mean um, scar cables, you know, something that's about at least 10 millimetres thick or more. Probably something that's like Cat 6 or above, all full of logo cables all bundled together. Anything like power cables and stuff, we strip ourselves obviously. But we have two bins and we class it as low grade, which is this little low grade driven cables, which I'll show you just now. Yeah, low grade ribbon, we'll class that as low grade cable. In our, well, we do anyway, somebody might be different. Uh, and anything, any thicker like uh, Cat 5 or higher, we'll put into the high grade bin and any copper we'll recover ourselves. That goes into separate bins for copper recovery for ourselves for melting down. Um, in which you've seen other videos we make ingots out of. So, let's get this out of the way. Little cable ties keeping everything together. So just get rid of those, make it a lot easier. A lot of people scared that these TVs will explode. They're basically a giant light bulb. But it's pretty tough glass, it won't just explode from the slight little knock, as you'd have seen. Okay, so, got a nice double debortion cable there. Give it a snip. And that's copper. Both of them. Pretty decent thick bits of copper. So once we get all that sticky crap off of there, we'll have a nice bit of copper to recover off the cable, plus the yoke, of course, okay. So we've got the copper and the yoke, copper and the cable. We've got a bonus of low grade cables. We've got a couple of power cables here, which will strip for copper as well. So it all comes in handy. There's a power cable, give that a snip. I'm not going to recover the speakers this time. We've got more than enough speakers after that big TV scrap up we've just done. If you've seen the video, great, you know what I'm on about. If you've not seen the video, give it a watch. Feel free to give it a watch. Now, power board. Sometimes we recover stuff off these, sometimes we don't, sometimes we depopulate them. It's copper, 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 aluminium, aluminium, okay. Big chips there, crystal oscillators on it as well. We don't bother cutting that open, it's not worth the time getting the copper out of this here. There's not enough in it. But what we'll do with this is, we'll more than likely, there's a lot of copper on there, so yeah, we'll, we might uh, put this in the boat, the the bin for copper recovery and we might get some copper out of it ourselves so it's a nice big board we'll keep it ourselves there's a lot on it sometimes the boards are good sometimes they're not so good we've got lots of extra cables here are just bundled up so we'll snip these
can be a little bit awkward to get into at times, but just keep at it and you'll get them all. And I'm bleeding again. Lovely. That's why I should have my gloves on. So, all get snipped up. Uh, and then it's time to get the cover back on. That said, we're not going to cover that ourselves. That has to go to specialist cycling so they get the lead and glass separated. Uh, and then they can do that. So that goes to a company in either Glasgow or Perth, depending on who we put it to. I won't say their name because I've not got permission to say their name on our videos yet. I'm still waiting for that. So it's this case of putting that back in there. One screw there. Where do the other screws went? Some screws for the top. I don't know why I threw them in the this bin here. I shouldn't have. Silly me. my neighbours all out in the gardens, doing the gardens. So that's a cover back on that one. So I'll take this out and I'll be right back and we'll get the, one of the small ones done. Right, here's one, here's one of the smaller ones guys. Um, I've not done this model before, I've done quite a few of these CRTVs since 2019, since I started this recycling scheme for the non-profit, but I've not actually done this one. It is a Panasonic, it's missing the bottom, it's failed its electrical safety. <laughs> It just kept coming up with faults. So, uh, yeah, again, stripping it down. So, as always, I put it on its front and have a look where screws. There's one, two, three, four, five. And I don't know what's in there. I'll need a wee screwdriver to have a look. Don't know if there's screws in here. It seems to be a separate compartment. Yep, hidden screws. Always hidden screws, isn't it? There we go. Right, Let's see if we get some of these off. Two screws there. I've got a feeling this is going to be an awkward one. You can just tell sometimes. Might be a screwdriver I get in there, the drill's too big. Yeah, a very awkward place to put screws. Can't get into them. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Where I need really long screwdrivers, and I don't have any here just now. Right, that is going to be a hammer job to get the plastic snapped off, I think. So we'll get this off first. Yeah, that's just speakers in there, apartment for speakers. So once the screws are out, it offers to come off, but these ones don't. So excuse the noise. I'm going to give it a wee tap here. Okay. Sometimes brute force has to do the job. And then the other side. There is a risk of smashing a glass here, but it is just glass. Done. So screen damaged a little bit, but again it's getting scrapped, so I'm not too worried. It's nothing it won't brush up. Here we go. Cover off. Cut that. Speakers on the top of the TV there. There's a yoke. So obviously we've had to smash this one open. But that was necessary to get into it because the screws were in such an awkward place. Okay, cut the cables. As I said, I had a feeling it's going to be an awkward one. 
sometimes you can just tell. You do enough of these and you can just get a feeling for what ones are going to be easy and which ones are not going to be as easy. Now the yoke's coming off anyway. I'm just trying to trim some of these cables back to make it easier since it's loose just now with the screen because I don't want to take any glass out. So, looks like it is a small hex on there to get it open. I don't seem to have the right size tool for anything here just now for this TV. What a box of tricks. That'll work. So again, that just comes off, put it there. And the yoke just comes off. It's much, much smaller yoke in this one, but again, copper on each side. Okay, so keep that. Now it's got a nice thick abortion cable there, we'll try and get that out as well. I don't want to have to go and remove the whole board. It's a smaller board than the last TV, obviously it's a smaller TV, so there's not so much copper coils on it. It's my cat's fighting in the driveway, lovely. Right, let's get this out. Preferably without slicing my hands in the process. Right, snip this. So that's a perfect example of what I was saying earlier in the video, these do not explode. I mean, I just smashed up the hammer and it just breaks the glass. Quite tough, you've seen how hard I was hitting the hammer and it take that good whack through plastic to get, to get that snapped. So they won't just explode on you. I used to think that myself uh, when I first started doing these and a lot of it came from things I've seen on TV and old TV shows and these TVs get broken or damaged, they just seem to explode on, on the movies all the time. Real life, not so much. See, real life, not so much. It's nice thick glass, okay? It's not just going to blow up on you. See how hard I hit it with the hammer. I'm just taking some of the broken shards and putting them inside the actual bulb. Get them out of my way. So I can get this cable out of here. It's been tied on with string. Now I can see where those screws are at, they're actually even further down, they're almost all the way down here, so you would need to get one of those really long screwdrivers to get into that, which I don't have. Doesn't want to come out. You think the string would snap, but it doesn't want to. There we go. There we go. So a little bit more awkward. But I don't know if you can see in there, but it is another copper one. Strip it back. Not as nice and shiny as other copper, but it is copper. So that's that one done. We'll put what's remaining of the cover back on it, screw it in place. There's a nice heavy speaker at the top there, but we don't want that. We've got enough speakers, as I said. Shake that on the roll. Snip the power cable off. Won't keep that, of course, because we'll we'll take that for copper recovery as well. And I'll just need to get the back into place now. Back 
good news is the other one looks a lot simpler than the other small one we have. So the screw goes in there. The sod's law, the screw's snapped. That's that one. These ones go to the top. one back here. So as I said, on as best I can. It's not the tightest but it'll do so we can go to the recycling centre as a broken TV. Nice and shaky. But that's that one done. Right guys, this is a small one, okay, Mats Matsu, nice little Matsu TV, this one would be nice and simple I would imagine, okay, a lot simpler than the second one we done. So again, just take on the side, again, you don't need a lot of knowledge to do these TVs, screws, cover, take out what you need, cover back on, just remember to keep your screws, if you are putting them back together. I've done 20 or 30 of these TVs since 2019 and that is only the second TV I've ever had to use a hammer to smash open. It's the only second one I've ever had with screws are in such an awkward place that you can't get to them. I've always been meaning to buy the non-profit some extra long screwdrivers to get into places like that but we really come across a, a need for them so I always forget to order them up. It doesn't want to come off. cell tape holding it on. Same again, the board's just sticking to it, so you just pull it up and the board will come away once you pull it out that slot. And of course I missed two screws. TVs and still miss screws. So again, tiny little yoke. You've got the board there, I'll just slip that back in there so it makes it easier for putting the cover back on. There's not a lot on that board. Okay, there's copper coil there, copper one there, that's really it, and then small ones. So we'll just take the cables that we want and not leave the rest. Throw these on the floor, I will get them after I'm done, get them all organised into proper bins. Okay. These power ones are wrapped all the way around the yoke. So that is, again, it's just tin covered copper on those ones. This little pin plug will come off, and that one is a Phillips head nut on there, two of them. Doesn't want to come off. Take out the wedges. See if it makes a bit of a difference. Looks like somebody stuck this one on with something. 
And so it's got a bit of an adhesive on it. So it's going to take a little bit more adhesion to come off, I think. There we go. So I've cut a little bit of adhesive there, keeping it on, just on the underside. But again, nice thick copper yoke. It's actually quite thick copper, and there's a good bit of copper on the outside. It's smaller, but there's a good bit of copper on it. So it's three yokes, and then there's the debortion cable. Now this one's underneath the screen mounts, so I have to take the screen mounts up, actually take the screws off for lifting the screen, just to be able to get the cable out as easy as possible, and then screw the screen back in. Put those there. Now the screen will just lift. Nice and simple, and the abortion cable, let's peel away. Get it out of the way, and get the screen back into its housing. So, nice and simple, compared to TV number two. Had so many TVs get through lately, I'm seeing them in my sleep. And it's another <coughs> copper one, so that's good as well. Okay, so we've got three copper devotion cables, three yokes, and three power cables, along with some low grade cables. So, all in all, not too bad whatsoever. And of course, we've got the brass ends that's on the plugs, we keep them ourselves, we melt down our own brass ringgits as well. So, this goes back on. Fine, not fit any bother at all. Just checking it's all in the right place for the board. I'll get the screen back secured. Like I said, so much easier. You know which ones are going to be easy, you know which ones are going to be awkward. One, two, and the screws drop to the floor, so I've got one here. Done. So there is one screw missing from the corner, but it's secure enough to go to the recycling centre, the processing plant. So that's it guys. Um, as I said, very simple to do these CRT TVs. As awkward as some of them can be, quick hit with a hammer, the screens do not explode. You can still get out what you need out of them. Um, you get a good deal of copper, okay? So we'll smash these up, we'll get the copper out of them, along with the ones I've still got to do and that will all go melted down as dirty copper. Okay, so it'll all get melted down. I've got all these devotion cables we'll need to strip down, power cables and the low-grade cables going to low-grade cable bin. Um, we're still saving up for a granulate machine, a grinding machine, so it'll make it a lot easier when we do have hard plastics to dispo for disposing of it. It'll still have to go to waste, but we've only got a big, we've got a 600 odd litre wheelie bin out there and it fills up quite quick and all this plastic is odd shapes. So to make it easier and cheaper for us as a non-profit to get rid of the waste, um, we're looking to buy a grinding machine. So feel free to hit the PayPal donation link, that will be absolutely great. You're welcome to donate if you want to. Uh, please subscribe, please share, please like the videos. We are evolving all the time, we're still new to YouTube. We're getting there, okay, bear with us. Um, thanks for watching the video, thanks for taking the time, thanks for donating if you, if you have, thanks for subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much, guys. Okay, take care.